on Tuesday's authorities arrested former Prime Minister of Pakistan Imran Khan outside the Islamabad High Court where he had arrived for the hearing of two separate cases. According to PTI, Khan was in the middle of a biometric process at the court when the parliamentary rangers forcefully broke a glass window, beat Khan's lawyers and security staff and took him into custody. Dawn reported that the Inspector General Police Islamabad Akbar Nasser Khan issued a statement stating that Imran Khan had been detained in relation to the Al Qadir Trust case. In this case, the former Prime Minister and his wife are accused of receiving billions of rupees from a real estate firm for legalizing a laundered amount of rupees 50 billion. Additionally, he stated that the situation in Islamabad had always been normal despite the arrest of Imran Khan and that Section 144 was imposed in the city. According to the Interior Minister, Imran Khan has been detained in the Al Qadir Trust case because he failed to appear before the court despite being issued several notices. The minister made this statement while speaking to the media. He further stated that the National Accountability Bureau had carried out the arrest, alleging that Imran Khan had caused loss to the National Treasury. Fawad Chaudhary, a close eye of Imran Khan and the leader of Pakistan, Tehrik e Insaf Party, expressed his thoughts on the arrest through a tweet. He claimed that Imran had been abducted from the court premises and that several lawyers and people had been subjected to torture. Chaudhary further alleged that Imran had been taken to an unknown location by unidentified persons. He mentioned that the Chief Justice of the Islamabad High Court and the Inspector General of Police to appear in the court within 15 minutes. The official Twitter handle of Pakistan Dhairke Insaf shared a video of a paramilitary personnel taking away Imran Khan from the court. In addition, the party also shared another video on their Twitter handle featuring Imran Khan's lawyer who had claimed to be badly injured in the Islamabad High Court. Following the arrest of Imran Khan, protests in support of the former Prime Minister have erupted in several cities across Pakistan. What is the Al Qadir Trust case? Dawn has reported that Imran Khan, along with his wife and other PTI leaders, are facing a National Accountability Bureau inquiry. They are alleged to have accepted 5 billion rupees on hundreds of canals of land from Bahiria Town, a Islamabad based real estate firm, in exchange for protecting the firm from a money laundering case. According to Dawn's report, the land that was given to the accused was in the form of a donation to the non-profit organization Al Qadir Trust intending to establish a university. Interestingly, this organization only had two trustees, Imran Khan and his wife. The report alleges that the settlement between the PTI government and the real estate firm caused a loss of £190 million. In June 2022, the Interior Minister of Pakistan held a press conference and announced the creation of a committee to investigate the allegations against Imran Khan. During the conference, he stated that the real estate firm Bahiria Town had illegally transferred Rs 50 billion to a Pakistani national residing in the UK. The person was caught by the British National Crime Agency, which then informed the PTI about the laundered money. In the course of the press conference, the Interior Minister also alleged that Imran Khan had asked his frontman Shehzad Akbar to resolve the money laundering case. He claimed that Akbar had settled the entire case and the Rs 50 billion which was state property and belonged in the National Treasury. The minister further alleged that Imran Khan and his wife had received the money through Akbar. According to a Dawn report, an arrest warrant was issued for Imran Khan in May 1 for the corruption case against him. The warrant stated that Imran Khan was accused of corruption and corrupt practices under Section 9A of the National Accountability Ordinance 1999.